Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Chevy Dude. Before I begin the content of this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn all your bell notifications on so you don't miss an upload. Most importantly, if you communicate or contact the Bachman Auto Group in any sort of fashion, make sure you tell them that I'm the reason you are here and make sure that you ask for me so I can help you purchase your next car here at Bachman Auto Group. Hey everybody, welcome back to day two of Corvette training here in from Nevada. I'm standing out on the racetrack currently right now here at Spring Mountain Resort in Ferrump, Nevada. And I'm really excited to get back there. We're training way, way back there. It's kind of hard to see those buildings, but uh, that's where we're gonna head to. But I wanna start the video out because I love this. They're not using this portion of the track, but if you look here, I drove through this area. It's absolutely amazing coming down this straightaway right here. You can hit miles about the 110, 115 range. You're coming down into that turn down there. Unfortunately, we're not gonna do that today, but we have some pretty exciting stuff. We should be doing donuts. We should be doing some skid pad stuff. We should ah, cut, cut, uh-uh, we're done. We can't, uh, yeah, we can't talk about that anymore uh, because General Motors has put an embargo on the Corvette training day. We're not allowed to show any of the video that I have on there. We're not allowed to do anything there. But recently, it's been in the news that all the 2020 C8s are sold out. Let me show you this. This right here is my C8 orders. These ones right here all have at least a minimum of $1,000 deposit. I've got about 40 of them with $5,000 deposits. And this over here is the stack of people who have canceled their reservation. So my take on this whole uh, 2020 C8 is sold out. Uh, that list is an ever involving, revolving list. People are canceling for some of the silliest reasons. I just recently had someone not want to put their order in. They were number 30 on my list because there was no manual transmission car. They put their reservation after the reveal. They know there was no manual transmission coming to this car. There's no manual transmission ever coming to this car from Chevrolet. So I tell you, I have a lot of goofy uh, reasons why people cancel. So this is the take that I have on this right here. Nobody knows except for the dealership of how many reservations are taken. Now Chevrolet did do the whole go to Chevy.com and put a thousand dollars down. They know how many are there, but I have less than five or six people that have put their thousand dollars down through Chevy.com. I've told people a multitude of times, do not put your deposit down at Chevy.com. Go to the dealership that you want. So with that being said, Chevrolet has no many idea how many I have of those. My buddy, Rick Conti, I have no idea how many he has. I wouldn't even ask him that question. GM doesn't know how many he's got. Kerbeck, McMalkin, let's go with Matic up in, in Detroit. None of them are telling General Metal, hey, now I have 300 deposits, now I have 1,000 deposits. So how is it possible that uh, GM is gonna sit there and say, hey, uh, we're sold out for 2020. So don't believe that clickbait news article that you're seeing out there from multitude of areas because there's so many ways to debunk this thing. So let's get into the content now that I've got that done. I'm gonna share with you how you can negotiate with the dealership who is charging over MSRP on your 2020 C8. All right, so let's get into why this car has got that over MSRP markup. It's all simple supply and demand. It's all the hype that this car has gotten over the last several months. Now, if you remember back in 2013 when the C7 was announced, the C7 was announced in January at the North American Auto Show, and it was not available until September of that following year. So nine plus months before we saw the vehicle. This has only been five months of hype on this car and the hype on the C8 is 10 times what the C7 was. So there's gonna be dealerships out there looking to get over MSRP. Never pay over MSRP. Paying over MSRP is just like taking your $100 bills and lighting the fire to it and just burning them, right? They're useless, you never get them back. There's nothing you can do about it and it's just simply do it. The hype is going to die within the first year the hype is going to die on this car. Now, I was told that they plan on beating the 1985 record, 1984. 1984 
record of 51,000 cars. They're gonna sell over 50,000 C8s. They're gonna be readily available to you. So do not pay over MSRP on this car. And basically, you can reiterate that to your dealer if you didn't ask the right questions up front, if you sit there and are surprised that they're paying over MSRP, sit there and negotiate with them. Let's say, listen, I'll wait for a car. I don't need this car. However, I wanna buy it from you guys, and I'm not gonna buy it from you if I have to pay over MSRP now. And when this, the man drops, I'm not gonna buy it from you then. Let's hit number two. See this right here? Window sticker of a 2019 Grand Sport. Now, we're all used to saying MSRP, Manufactured Suggested Retail Price. So window stickers have not said MSRP in a long, long time. Can we see what that, is that focusing in? It says vehicle, total vehicle price. This is what this says, total vehicle price. There we go. It does not say MSRP anymore, total vehicle price. So therefore, one of the things you can do is like, listen, you have a total vehicle price. Um, escalate it with General Motors if you have to. I really, really think General Motors should come in and regulate the pricing that we can sell these cars for, the high end and the low end. There's dealerships out there that are absolutely just busting cars out with these super low prices and they're coming in behind with a $900 dealer fee. They're overcharging you on a electronic filing fee. That would be Florida um, and all these other things. Then they come in and they behind the scenes start adding things to the car, the $2,000 environmental package that I've told you in the past that is a scam. So I really, really truly think that General Motors should come in and regulate the pricing of these cars high and low. No M over MSRP and nothing too crazy low and making an even playing field for people who want to sell Corvettes like myself. That, that way you can buy a Corvette from whoever you would like and not have to play the games of this dealership, this dealership, this dealership, this dealership, plain and simple. But most importantly, the support portion, the number two is remind the dealership that that is total vehicle price, not MSRP, and they're obligated to sell it for that price and not anything more. Number three, I just mentioned it. You can buy a car anywhere in the country that you want to, and shipping is relatively inexpensive. From Louisville, Kentucky to the West Coast, we're probably looking at max $2,500, depending on the season, depending on the time frame, depending on the vehicle, depending on the transport uh, of company that I use, and that's enclosed shipping. So if a dealership is charging five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 over MSRP, just remind them, listen, I can buy this anywhere. I can spend $2,500 having it shipped to me and I'm still $2,500, $3,500, $5,000, whatever the case may be under your over MSRP value. And number one, I'm gonna buy it from a dealership who's honest and ethical, not charging over MSRP. And I'll be more than happy to pay the freight cost to have that vehicle shipped to my house. Now this is from Kentucky to California. Say you're just in Florida. Say you're just in your driving distance of a dealership. This is very, very simple to do. So just let them know that the shipping cost is extremely low to ship a car across country. You're willing to wait. And the fact of it is, is there's no value for you to pay over MSRP so therefore you're willing to pay a shipper to have a car bought from anywhere in the country and have it shipped right to your front doorstep. And also the fact that you don't have to go into their dealership, you don't have to talk to their F and I manager, you just simply sign documents and it loses their value and it loses their ability to upsell you on products like extended warranty, paint protection, gap insurance, stuff like that. All right, number four, there is a list out on the Corvette forum showing what dealers are not charging over MSRP. Now, here's a little uh, tip and hopefully uh, the owner of this does not uh, come back and yell at me. I don't think he will. I'm not speaking out of turn. There is a new Corvette forum coming very, very quickly to the internet near you. And I'm, in, I'm, I'm a big deal on it, okay? So I'm really excited about this. Uh, C7 and C8 forums are coming to the internet near you. I will let you guys know when those are live. I'm already in there. I posted some things and uh, you'll see me posting some of the first things before it's live to the general public. But there is a forum coming soon, but let them, know, let them know that the consumers are fighting back. The consumers are showing you and telling you where the MSRP dealers are at or less than MSRP dealers. And you're willing to contact one of them back to the number three, that you're willing to ship it and have a good experience for yourself and most importantly, get the car that you wanna do. So use the internet as your advantage on the Corvette forms. All right, number five. 
This one's, I think, is a really, really good one. If you're local to the dealership, if you, if it's a dealership you've done business with in the past, uh, focus on how you as a consumer will influence future business for that dealership, okay? So if you have bought multiple cars for them, remind them of that. Hey, listen, I've bought four cars, three cars, two car, one car. Hey, I just moved to the area and you guys were the first dealership that I dealt with here. This was my first Chevrolet and I'm buying it from you guys. If you don't wanna treat me right, I'm gonna to continue to buy Chevrolets and I'm never gonna buy from you guys ever again. Uh, I will send people into you. I have 200 followers, I have 2 million followers, whatever the case may be, I will influence people to come buy from you. On the flip side, I really don't wanna get into this much, but I will kinda of say it. Say you kinda of force your hand and you're gonna buy from this dealership at $5,000 over MSRP. Let them know that you do get a review, um, that CSI, from General Motors and you'll reflect that on that CSI. And then also there's all those review websites out there too that you can write a positive or a negative review based off your experience with them. But most importantly, focus on as a consumer how you'll influence business to them and it's worth more money to them to sell repeat referral business than it is to get any dollar amount over MSRP. And then the next to last one, you can kind of share with the dealership that you can get a quote from another dealership. Um, this is definitely gonna play into a big role in the second full model year of the uh, Corvette like 2021 type thing, maybe the end of 2020, uh, that you can get a quote from another dealership. So therefore, you can use that as a negotiating tool. It's like, listen, this dealership's already quoted me this, so I really, you guys are a little bit closer, um, the shipping costs are a little bit cheaper, whatever the case may be, I'd really like to use you guys, but, if not, I'm willing to go with this dealership here who I have this quote right here. Email it to them, text it to them, show proof that you have that quote. Don't just make it up or lie about it. And the last one, and probably the most important one, like I'd be really crazy not to have this conversation with you. Just buy your gosh darn Corvette from me. Own a C8.com. You can go there, put your reservation down. And right now it's just a big waiting game, but I can guarantee you a C8. Just go to own a C8.com all the information is completely set there and explained to you 100%. No over MSRP, no dealer addendums, no over BS stuff. My dealer fee is $299.50, so I have a cheap dealer fee, unlike some other dealers who have $900, $700, stuff like that. And then shipping from Louisville, Kentucky is probably the cheapest anywhere in the country. Going to Florida, going to the West Coast, going to the East Coast. Locally, you can fly into uh, SDF, Louisville International Airport, Southwest flies here. So really, really simple airport to fly into. So uh, number one tip out of all this, just buy it from the Chevy dude. Own a C8.com or go to ChevyDude.com and you can get all the information there and that's how you contact me as well. So one of the reasons that I decided to produce this video is because I've seen people out there talk about how they've had their deposit with the dealership since July or August or whatever and now that this time that they can order cars that they are getting thrown curveballs on hey we're charging over MSRP or you have to buy a warranty or you have to do this. It's not, it's not the case. It's just games that the dealerships are going to do. They're trying you on to see if they can get you to bite and hook on because they know this is a supply and demand car. So I don't care where you get your car. Most importantly, I just want you to get the car that you deserve, to get the car that you work so hard to earn. And I would love to have you buy it for me, but I don't care where you buy it from. I just want to give you some great tips to make sure that you do get that car. Make sure you do get phenomenal experience on buying that car and most importantly, have fun after it. Now, once I get my C8, this channel is gonna be a really a big C8 channel. I'm gonna do how-to videos. I'm gonna show you how to do everything uh, on this car. I already got it all figured out. Unfortunately, I just couldn't record all that stuff uh, out in Nevada, but this is gonna be the channel to come to to show you exactly how everything works on a 2020 Corvette and future C8 model. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was informative. Make sure you share this video with some people. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notifications on so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and drive safely.